Hey everybody, welcome back to Wombat Rescue. Got to save them babies. All right, so we left off as my turn and I am gonna go rescue my baby now. And I did double check. I am gonna be able to make a very, the, the fastest rescue in history. Remember, I get to make three moves and I move in a straight line and I keep going until I either hit something or I leave my scent area. And because the scent area of this overlaps this, my first move is just gonna be boink. And I picked up my second move is going to be back and I have just rescued my first baby. I've caught up with Jen and now I have one more move. And so what I probably want to do is I want to move back out here because, you know, I, I could move in a straight line here and then on the, my, my next move or next turn, I could start heading towards these ones. But I think it's time to get in Jen's way a little bit. My third move is I'm just going to move one space because I'm in my scent network and I'm going to pick up this little food here. And Jen says, oh, why have you done that? Because now, at the end of my turn, first of all, the, it's the dingo. Now, the dingo is back at his den, and so when, when the, whoever has the dingo card, if the dingo is back home, the dingo now enters the board again. And so I could choose. I could put the dingo at this den, this den, or this den. My choice. Let's see. Um... And shoot, I wish I had an idea of which way Jen was going to go. We're both over in this direction. If I put it here, the dingo is definitely closer to me. You know what? I just don't think I want the dingo messing with me. Hmm. I'll just put the dingo very, very far away. So we'll worry about the dingo is far away, not going to bother us. Okay, and so that was the end of my turn. Now, the turn the dingo comes out, they don't move. But at the end of my next turn, I'll roll for the dingo, and the dingo will start trying to work its way down to us. Okay, so now it is Jen's turn, and here's why Jen is frustrated. What Jen had planned to do was go one, two, and pick up a green and an orange so that she'd have a mouthful and she could start digesting more. But now I'm in the way. Now, Jen can move into the space where I am, but unless a, any number of players can be in the home den, but anywhere else on the board, if Jen tries to move where I am, she would push me. And, I, and she would, that would actually help me because she'd push me right into this area to get food. And so she does not want to help me pick up food for free on her turn. So I have now created an obstacle. Jen has to move around. And, and she's not going to be able to pick up the food she thought she was going to be able to get really quickly. So let's see. Because she, and she certainly doesn't want to push me because that's only going to help me. So I think her first move is she will move... Um, she'll start going this way in a straight line, and boom, she hit the, um, the boulder, so that's as far as she could go. And now, she'll start moving as far as she can. This is her second move, and so she's picked up some food. And let's see. Now, her remember, she has two cubes here, so she can go up to one, two, three. So she can still smell her scent cube. She could move um, away, and then she would be out of the reach of her scent cubes, and she'd be close enough to smell her baby. Right, and that was what? That was one, two, so she could go three, and now on her next turn, she'll be able to get to her baby and then start kind of stumbling her way back home. And I guess, or instead, she could, she can smell this food right here, come over here and get this, and so she can start working on more poop, but she's moved away from her baby. I think that's what she's going to do, because, you know, having more um, fuel in the chute is going to help. All right, so that was uh, Jen's turn. She moved around me, got some food, and got some more food. Okay. And now, heck, maybe, um, you know, because, you know, Jen, Jen can see I want to go that way too. And so she's uh, grabbed the food I would have grabbed if I could have. So now at the end of her turn, digestion happens. And that was it because she doesn't have the dingo card anymore. And now it's my turn. And I'm like, ah, that was the food I was going to take. Well, I think for my first one, I'll go here and pick this up. And so now I've got enough food. I've got three points worth of food to start digesting. And now number two. Hmm... Now see, I want to go for these babies because I've got the scent network that'll let me get up there really quick. But that's also where the dingo is, so I'd be running right into the mouth of danger. Let's see here. What do I want to do? And now, at the end of my next turn, I'm going to drop some poop. So I've done one move to pick up that food. And now, two, if I want to, I could come right up here and then for three, uh, let's see, one, two, I could go and I could get this food. So I'd end my turn right there. And, well, I would have picked up some extra food, but that's actually kind of wasteful. Hmm. But I, uh, um, and it'd still be a while before I drop my poop. Although I could go on ahead and use the high fiber diet. So I dropped the poop early and then I, yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. For my first move, I went here. My second move, I'm going to come there. And then for my third move, 
do I want to come, let's see, I can move all the way up here because it's one, two, and then, you know, I'd, I'd be out of my set network, I'd stop and I'd, I'd get the food, but that would be wasteful. Or do I stop one step early? I think I'll stop one step early because I'll be able to get this food. No, well, no, okay, that's right. I will, so I picked up the food, two, three, I'm going to stop one early. I'm going to use the high fiber diet. This stuff is going to come out quicker and I'm going to drop a cube right there and extended my reach. Okay. And um, that was it. That was my three moves. At the end of my turn, the digestion happened. So now I'll be able to pick up this new food next turn and it won't have been wasted. And at the end of my turn, the, I, let's just have a one or a two. All right. So the dingo is definitely closer to me than Jen. So the dingo is going to start moving towards me. One, two. Okay. And uh, now it's Jen's turn. Okay. So, and she's heading towards these ones over here. And so her double scent cube from the beginning is one, two, three. So she can move all, that's her first move. Her second move, she's uh, out of her scent range, but she can smell her baby. Two, so she's got her second baby. And now in three, well, she can't, she could start stumbling her back way back, or she can smell this so she can pick up some more food. Let's see what she draws if she's gonna try and go around blindly. Oops, this should have been face down. All right, let's. Put that somewhere deeper in here. So she draws uh, a green or a yellow. The yellow goes there, the green goes there. Man, eh, she doesn't like either of them. What the heck? She'll just go on ahead and grab this. And so she's starting to collect some more food. She gets another green and she could start, you know, digesting some more. And so that was the end of her turn. Digestion continues, except for not this. This is only two, so it stays in the mouth. And that was Jen's turn. My turn again. So uh, first of all, I'm going to go and then boom, I picked up some food. And then um, let's see. So my maximum scent range here is one, two, so I can go and boom, I picked up my baby. And now I need to get away from that dingo. I'm right there on the hairy edge. And in fact, my problem is, you know what? I don't think I want to mess with the dingo. I'm going to go on ahead and use my special power now. And for my, um, and I'm just going to go on ahead and boom, I'm back home and I've dropped off my second dingo. So now I've still got scamper one space and hold it in. And I've got one more move I can make. And I think my third move, I'll just come here and grab this last little bit of food. All right. So I can do some more digestion at the end of my turn, digestion, digestion. And the dingo says one. So now I am, let's see, I think actually Jen's close to the dingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so the dingo's gonna start moving towards Jen, or right over there. And, but he can only move one space, so I'll just have him move like that towards Jen, because he only rolled a one. And so now it's Jen's turn. Okay, so now Jen is way out in no scent land. So I, she, she can't use, so, well, first of all, let's go on ahead and see what she can move to. She can move to a dark brown. She can basically move to a black or a brown. And so the brown is taking her farther away, although that would get her to where she could get some more food and drop a cube. I think that's what she's going to do. So she's going to move blindly away from home. And the baby says, why aren't you taking me home, mama? And so that was her first move, was the blind move. And then her second one was, hey, I can smell this food, yum, yum food. And now for her third move, let's see. Well, let's just see what she draws. All right, uh, so she can move. She's on the black space, but she could move back here. So she can stay here or she can move back there. And now at the end of the turn, she's going to drop a, a cube. I think she will move back here. So she's dropping a cube closer to her earlier network. All right. The nice thing is, you know, she's dropping it right in the middle of all these boulders. This is kind of like threading the needle to be able to move through these boulders here. And Jen's uh, got making herself. All right, so that was it. The, Jen's move. Now at the end of her turn, she um, digests. Digests and digests, drops a cube where she is, and now it's my turn again. Alrighty, and so I have, oops, I should be here. That's where I teleported back to. And now I'm starting out again. I don't care about this side of the board anymore. I gotta get to this baby and this baby, but all my scent network stuff is off in that direction. Hmm, let's see here. And what do I wanna do? Uh, let's see, and at the end of my turn, I'm gonna drop uh, another cube. So I think for starters, I will move in a straight line as far as I can. Bip, bip, bip. Because I, I, uh, this is as far as I can go. It's something I can't smell my poop anymore. So that's my first move. My second move is, hey, I'll pick up this food because I could smell that. 
And now for my third move, there's nothing near me, so let's see what I can do. I can move to pink or brown. That's great. I want to move back to pink. That's where I'm going to be. That was my third move. And now at the end of my turn, I am going to poop. And so I have made myself another nice little scent network between these two. Nice. Okay. And this comes down. This doesn't. And so, and then I roll for the dingo. The dingo only moves one again. And it's my choice of how the dingo moves as long as it's getting closer to... Well, actually, who's it closer to now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to Jen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, either one of us. It's equidistant from both of us. And so, because I control it, it's... Um, let's have it... Let's see. I, it's, I'll say it's moving towards Jen. This is a legal way for it to move closer. And so that was that. And now it's Jen's turn again. Okay, so Jen wants to start moving home. She can smell this. Now, this is interesting. Jen's about to drop another scent cube. If she passes, drops an entire turn, she could drop another scent cube right here, and that would increase. But you know what? No, no, no. Actually, she should drop a scent cube in between these two so she has a nice little network to be able to get back out to this baby really quickly. So this scent cube, she can move up to three spaces away from it. She's going to go in a straight line. One, two, three, because now she can't smell it anymore. So that was her first move. One, two, three, four. And she's far enough away from the dingo. The dingo can't get her. She has two more moves, but she's not going to move anymore. She's going to stay right there. One, two, three. Yeah. And so she's not moving anymore. And so at the end of her turn, she will make a poop cube. This. Um, and so now Jen's got a very, very nice network there. Okay. So that was her turn. My turn again. Okay. What was I doing? Right. So um, I have dropped this scent cube. I can now from, I can go one, two, pick up my baby. And then I can go one, two again, get back to my baby, and then go one, two, and get all the way back home. So I've just picked up my third baby. The game, you know, the game is afoot. We're getting closer to the end, folks. So that was it. One, two, three. I got my baby back home. And now the dingo says, hey, what about me? And he only moves one. Oh, he is very slow, that dingo. Okay, and now it's Jen's turn. So Jen is bringing back her baby. She can... Um, she can move up to two spaces away from that easily. And so Jen is, she's got the network. I think that means Jen's actually got this in the bag. Um, one, two, and now let's have Jen move back out. Three. All right. And now, um, right, because one, two, yeah, one, two, three. Now, and she could have kept going, but unfortunately my cube stopped her. All right. So that was Jen's turn. My turn again. And we're both in a race to get our last babies, but Jen's got the network and I don't. Oh, whoops, I forgot, by the way. Uh, we have to digest. Never, don't forget to digest at the end of the turn. All righty, so what am I going to do? So I can move in a straight line up to... This is kind of interesting. I will go... Uh, by the biggest move yet. Zoom, one, two, three. So I just skipped past and... So that was actually pretty nice. I'm all the way over here because I could move this far away from my single cube. And now, I will, I will go on ahead and see if I get lucky and move blind. Um, brown and yellow. Yellow moves me that food, so I could start collecting some more food, but I don't think that's going to matter. I'm just going to... I don't like that. Um, let's see, because at, at the end of this turn, I'm going to drop a scent cube, but I'd rather drop it here because then I've got my network. So um, I failed. For my second move, I'm not going to move. For my third move, I didn't get the pink I needed. So I'm going to stop right there at the end of my turn. Well, you know what I'm going to do? At the end of my turn, I'm going to scamper one space to move here. One, two. Yeah, to move there. And that's it. Right. So I scampered because I didn't get a free move. And so now at the end of my turn, I've made a poop cube. And this isn't going to move. So there's my network. And now, oh, and then I got a roll for the dingo. One, wow, the dingo is, is, you know, is, right, and it's closer to me, so it's coming towards me. And now it's Jen's turn. Right. So her network can go one, two, and now this is a problem for Jen. She has to, she, you know, she's here. She can't in one move go around this corner. Her next move has to let her basically only move one space. And those are her three moves. But you know what? She could scamper now to pick up that baby. And that would save her one move in the future. One, two, three. But moving into this space is dangerous because the dingo might get her. So I think she's going to wait here. 
Um, and hopefully the dingo doesn't run a four, because if the dingo rolls a four, Jen will be gotten. Right, and so now it's my turn again. Oh, and then the other thing, Jen's in the way. If I try to move up here, I'll have to push Jen right into that food. Which um, makes Jen one, two, three, four, and I'd be one, two, three, four. Wow. All right. Well, what the heck? I'm going to have to do it. So I'm going to move. It's my turn. One, two, and I push Jen, and she ends up getting some food. That was one, two, because I can smell my baby. Three. Now, here's my problem. I am, this is my big gamble going for it because I have now moved too far away from my scent cube. I can't smell it anymore. So for three, I need to move back here. I need to move into that pink. Come on, give me a pink. <gasps> I got a pink. So I get to move blindly either into blue, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to move back here into pink. And so now I am close enough to be able to smell my scent cube. So I'm on my way home. And then the dingo, and Jen's hoping, please don't be a four. It's a two. The dingo, let's see, the dingo is one, two, three, four from Jen, one, two, three, four from me. Um, either way, I have to move, and so, uh, it'll just move one, two. So that's that. And now it's Jen's turn. Okay, so Jen can move one because she can smell her baby. And now Jen is within one, one, two. <gasps> Jen can't smell her scent trail. Oh, wow. This is very scary. But you know what? Jen can use her power to scamper one space, which she'll do. And that pushes me out of the way. And now she's close enough. So she went one to pick up the baby. And now she will go two to um, reach that. And then three, zoom, right across her network. And she's almost home. All right. So that was her turn. And now it is my turn. All right. Can I get back before her? Let's see here. So here's the cube one, right? So cube, I can smell it. So I'm, I'm within two distance of it. What is the fastest way for me to go? Uh, one, two, let's see, one, two, three. So I can move to there and then that would let me smell this. So I'm just gonna move in a straight line. Oh, but Jen's cube is gonna stop me. Oh, cause if it wasn't there, I could go, um, let's see, one, two. So I can move up to here. That would be my first move. And then I could smell this. And my second move would be here. And my third move would make it back home. I could almost make it. But Jen's scent cube is in the way. It's blocking me. Can I do it another way? Let's see. I could come down this way. That'd be one. And then from here, uh, one, two, three, I can move into one, two, three. <gasps> I can do it. I can do it. All right. So my first move is here. Because remember, I move in a straight line. And now my second move is just all the way back home. Can I do it? Um, remember, I, I can keep moving in a straight line as long as I can smell my poop. I can smell my poop. I can smell my poop. I can smell this one. Smell, 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 smell. Doink. I did it. I beat Jen back just by the narrowest of margins. That was a really close call. Um, and, folks, that was one full playthrough of Wombat Rescue. Um, with me just barely making it home in time. And the dingo, well, is just left high and dry with nothing. And that was it, folks. That was Wombat Rescue. If you'd like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner to go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.